Four tree damage. What in the world is that? There were three trees here. Now there's only two. One's a plum. And I think one was a crab apple, and I forget what the third one was. They never really did much. Although I will say last year, this must be the plum. There were plums on this thing that were actually edible. They were tiny, but they were got soft and they were edible. In the years of the Dog Walk Chronicles, the last two years, or this is the second summer I've walked out here. They weren't there last year, but they were there this year. Stop. So I don't know if they usually come because I'm not usually walking out here and paying attention. But now that we're walking the dog, I'm made more aware of the changes that go on. I'm wondering where the fox are because it's almost spring. It's getting towards looking like spring, even though we're still in February. So I think next week it's going to take a colder turn at the latter part of the week, get back in the 40s, maybe 30s, 40s. I want to talk about Solomon today in the book of Kings, first book of Kings. Solomon has given over his... He's decided to make temples for all of his wives gods he's taken on lots of uh, lots of wives no and if he's so wise then why wouldn't he know that you can't can't let someone control that you have to make your own decisions why would he let these if one religion if one of his wives religion is right then how can is it necessary that the other ones are not correct, or not the correct religion? Or is it possible they're all right? I would say that I don't know. But I do think there's only one correct religion, the Catholic Church. Anyway, uh, so, do we have someone coming in the driveway? No. Um, so Solomon has uh, made all these temples and Jero, 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 Jeroboam, who I think is, is one of the kings of one of the other tribes or son of Solomon, I don't know, is walking and he runs into the prophet and the prophet takes his coat, cloak and cuts it into 12 pieces and tells Jero, Jeroboam, Mom, that Solomon has lost favor with God and 10 of those pieces he cuts 12 pieces of garment for the 12 tribes and he gives 10 to Jeroboam who is now I guess gonna or we're gonna find out if he starts to be he'll take over those 10 territories and Solomon is left with is it Israel and the city of Jerusalem to, so he doesn't, uh, he continues to honor his arrangements with David, Solomon's father. And all this trouble came because Solomon let his, stop using his brain and let himself be led by something else. So, uh, wisdom. He stopped remembering his wisdom and started thinking more lustfully and lazily by letting, uh, yeah, not thinking through. God's, his father even told him, follow the, the laws and precepts of God and you'll be fine. Well, he's not, so what happens? He loses 10, 80% of his territory. Um, so, and all because he listened to, he listened to, and these were, yeah, whatever, all because he listened to these 
wives. So that was all a pretty big mistake he made. So, uh, let's try to use our wisdom. Let's try to, uh, let's ask God for wisdom. Uh, we're, we're coming up to an election cycle and it's, it's a good time to think of both sides of a Think of think very clearly on both sides, reflect, and then decide what makes the most sense to you from your years of of living. And uh, not just vote because the media is pushing one thing or your favorite singer is pushing one candidate or one thought. But what makes sense to you? What makes sense and what's good for the country? Does anybody think of what's good for the country? It's good for the country is, first off, we're not populating with what? I think it's 1.6. Is that us or is that Japan? Japan is, is done. Japan isn't even populating enough to keep their society going. And I think we're 1.6 and they're 1.3. And the only reason we're continuing is because we're is because of immigration, but uh, you've got to populate a society. And if we're not going to recognize that it's important for a strong nation to have strong families, then we're done. So use your wisdom. It's not that complicated. You need to have strong moral families, God, God, faithful families to keep a society m moving forward. Uh, yep. So let's ask the saints to pray for us, to give us wisdom, uh, to ask for wisdom for us, and let's continue to pray for the souls of purgatory.